Hello and welcome back to Oscar Modeling. Um, this is part four of the German um, battleship Scharnhurst. Uh, it's the 1700 build and it's made by Flyhawk. And in this um, part, we're just going to show you what I've done here. So here we've got the turret is now installed on this superstructure here. It's looking pretty good. And on top of that, we'll go this. I know that will fit there, but that will go on there. I'm just leaving it off for the moment. Uh, there's no rush to put that on. So, yeah, it's all done. Uh, obviously, I haven't done. There's a bit of um, a railings to go around on this, and uh, I'll work on those later. As I am still trying to sort out problems with the paint. Um, I've noticed that paint doesn't brush very well. I've tried to thin it and it just won't it won't stick on the photo etch. Yeah, but anyway, I'll sort that out. So that's all done. And now we've moved on from step that was step well five through to seven. Seven is actually putting all that together. And now we move on to these gun directors, which I've done, and they're ready to be undercoated here. Now, there's also some photo edge um, platforms to go on that piece that need to be. I'm going to actually undercoat them and then spray them because brush painting doesn't work. <laughs> Struggled with that. Um, then uh, I built, uh, it's saying to go on to do the lifeboats on the instructions below there. But when I look ahead in the directions, uh, the instructions, there's a long way ahead before I need to do those. So I'm going to skip that bit, move straight to step eight, which will be the smoke stack in the funnel. So we're... Uh, we're going to go and put all this in together now. Uh, there's a bit of photo etch to go on this as well. Uh, there's there's going to be spotlights that, if I remember, oh yes, so there's spotlights to go on here. There's a few other little crates to go on there. There's a couple of guns to go on. Quite a detailed little piece here. So um, we'll go ahead start building that up and uh, yeah and continue now I've touched up the ship uh, camouflage parts so that's looking a lot lot better so I'm happy with that and I was going to put the deck down on this uh, I briefly went through the instructions and there's there's no reason why I can't put the deck down. But then there's also no reason why I should. <laughs> so I'll I'll just keep going. At the moment we're building all the superstructure parts that go on on the deck. So until it gets to the point where something has to be put down on the deck, that's the point when we'll probably put the um, the wood decking down. Okay, so um, I'll keep going and start working on this little 
smokestack here which is quite detailed as it is in fact I've noticed that uh, a lot of these pieces have such good detail that the photo etch option um, is really all it's doing is replacing what's already there and not making it look any different so there's a lot of lines around the outside of around this this stack that you're supposed to sand off and remove and replace with photo etch which is looks exactly the same as what's already there and the problem is these parts are so small that I'm really um, not confident that I could actually remove some of these pieces uh, off the molding without damaging parts that shouldn't that don't have to be removed because they're so close um, they even overlap some pieces that are supposed to stay on um, so I will go through what the options are of the photo etch and if I don't think that it would make any aesthetic improvement by putting it on then I'm not going to put it on uh, it's just not it's not worth the trouble um, especially if it's not going to make a difference uh, a lot of it's exactly the same as what's there so anyway we'll go on to this so I'll start uh, building this up and we'll have a look at this when it's done okay I'll back shortly okay welcome back and uh, We've got a bit done on this uh, funnel here. It's, uh, well, the funnel's completed now. You can see much on this, but we'll have a, have a go. So, some photo etch there. There's some ladders and stairways and uh, all little boxes and stuff all around. So, that's all done and ready to paint. Um, there's still some oh, on the platform it's sitting on on here there's photo etch that runs all the way around the length of that uh, on both sides I think that includes the railing so I've got to put that on there yet um, also on there are some gun, guns there's six of them and there they are there I've had to swap out the plastic with the brass, put the brass barrels in them all. It took a bit of while, uh, especially trying to line it all up properly. Um, so, yeah, I'm just having a break now before I start on uh, that photo etch around the base here. And then I'll glue the turrets onto those, and then all six of them will sit around the outside of here. Um, so this will complete step nine once I've done those guns, put them on. So that'll all be done. And then we'll be moving over to step 10, which looks like some lifeboat racks to go around the base on here. And there's some, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of photo etch for that. Let's check. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there's photo etch. Yeah. Um, and along with the racks we'll have to go back and do the like boats as well it's like there's two four four of them and I do know there's some wood decking for the lifeboats as well should be good um, so yeah so that looks good on step 10 uh, exclamation mark there I'm not sure what that means Probably something to be a bit careful of. So um, yeah, I'm going to keep plodding along here. It's it's going all right. Progress quite a bit today. Um, got a bit frustrated yesterday. Nothing seemed to go well. Had issues with the paint. Um, had little bits of photo etch that weren't cooperating, and uh, and the weather was raining and yeah, not so good today. Much better, it's cleared up, the sun's out, 
and things are going together. That's what we want. So, um, yeah, I'll be back shortly and we'll have a look at the progress of all these guns when they're mounted on here in the photo wedge and um, probably start on the lifeboats and the racks. Okay, back in a second. Hey, hello, welcome back. I've um, got some more of the superstructure done. Uh, I've put on the... Just going to be very careful picking this up because there's not many spots on here that are safe to hold because of all the photo which okay, here we go so as you'll see so I've got the the guns on there uh, I've got the ladders that will come up from the next deck on there uh, all the mesh that's supposed to be there and the outside bits Ladders under there, underneath. There we go. So that's all looking good. I'm trying to get as much on there as I can for it to get painted. Now, on the front on here are the racks for the lifeboats. And they're all in photo edge. I'm going to. I'm working. I'm going to start doing those now. And um, they put that down here gently. <laughs> right. Um, so the instructions are for the photo etcher showing all these pieces in here all go around the base of that funnel. Um, I've done everything else on here. It's all completed, all that's done. Just getting that on there, which on the actual instructions is these racks here, the boats. Um, so once I, yeah, there's more there. Now the kit has kit photo etch. Going by this, it looks like, uh, oh no, sorry, that, that's a different thing, that's a walkway. So yeah, um, so I'll work on those. It's not too difficult to do. Um, all this is all complete now that I just showed you. That's all, all done. Um, that's step nine. This is where we are now on step 10. Um, this is the racks here for the boats, but we'll be doing the photo etch ones instead, putting those on. It's also at this stage, the boats go on which I haven't even built yet, so that's no rush. Uh, I just want to get everything on this structure here so I can get it uh, undercoated. Uh, maybe we'll do the boats after all of that. Uh, going on further, I'm looking ahead, there's still, there's still quite a lot of stuff to be built. I've still got, there's another turret to be built. There's a whole new superstructure here. Uh, it's got to go on. Another section there, so this thing has like two superstructures. Anyway, that's further down the track. Um, I'm going to work on getting this photo edge off now and bending it and storing it all onto that. Uh, yeah, that's it. We'll come back again and have a look and see, see how that's going. Cheers. Okay, welcome back. Thought I'd show you some of the intricate detail of this photo etch here. Uh, so I'm building the racks for the lifeboats, and I've had to this piece in the side here, which has will have two lifeboats on it, is just sitting there at the moment because I just need to test fit it. And the problem I've come across is that. The instructions they show all these um, these uh, artillery guns here facing that direction but when they are facing that direction the barrels interfere with the photo edge but it does just clear underneath so I can get that on there um, 
the problem is it would have been well it would have been a lot easier if I turned this gun around and had it pointing out here or out to the side but anyway they're glued down so I can't do that so that's sitting in there now this rack here had to be bent and it's sitting on the at an angle across there and it's in place it's glued down it's gluing now so I'll give that a good half hour um, for my uh, photo edge glue which I'm using the big ultra glue because uh, it, it dries clear and I'll give you a bit of a closer look at the camera there you go so you can see how that barrel of that gun there is really very very close now the problem is also this piece here this needs to go under that and then under this rack and over to this side now in there also is there's a gun and the instructions had that as uh, there were two options to put a anti-aircraft gun in there or a reloader in there I actually lucky I went to put the reloader in there because it doesn't have the barrel so it's smaller otherwise this would not have fitted on top as it is this will not fit all the way under there so what I will be doing is I'm going to cut this here and just use these two supports under that one so that'll fit I won't have this centerpiece running under there and there's no need for it anyway it just it just won't work get up closer for you to see so yeah so what I'll do is I'll lift that piece back out I'll attach these in where it's going to sit and then I'll um, start on the other side but very very fiddly work these pieces had to be bent correctly there were tiny little slots for the supports underneath to slot into uh, making it yeah uh, in some points there I thought geez I was just lucky that that slotted in there and fitted properly so anyway I'll keep going it's getting there and uh, we'll come back and have another look at it when there's a bit more progress and hopefully when it's done but, uh, yeah the joys of photo which I mean it's it's tough it's hard work it's it's fiddly it's a little bit frustrating but when you see it coming building up and you get to the point where you've done it it's very satisfying to to look back at the work and go yes and then it's almost a shame to have to paint it <laughs> because people most people wouldn't even know that those pieces were photo etched and what went into them but anyway we all know how that works um, one day I'd like to build a model with all the photo etch on it and not paint anything just so people can look at the model and see it completely built and see all the photo etch and all the detail without it being painted over one day we'll see okay back shortly hello welcome back and as you can see uh, finally managed to get all the lifeboat um, supports in place very very fiddly tiny work uh, all I can say is thank God for these things there's no way I could do this without these magnifying glasses uh, so see if I can get a closer look for you just gonna be very careful because there's not many places to hold this okay so here we go so the racks are all on there's going to be four or five lifeboats two on each side one at the rear um, everything else is done on that and it's uh, ready to be painted I'm going to move on to do the lifeboats now uh, that was back this is the completion of step 10 
with the lifeboats on. Now, obviously they'll have to be painted separately to this, so they won't be put on there. But I figure I might as well build them. Um, there's a photo edge for them as well. But anyway, um, yeah, very intricate and quite challenging. I mean, if you've had experience with photo etch of 1700 scale, uh, you can let me know in the comments uh, if you've had any struggles or, you know, difficult situations. But this was particularly hard. Um, but anyway, it's done. And I'm glad it's done and I'm happy with the result and that's what matters. So that will go into a little container of steps that are complete. Um, we're going to go on to do lifeboats. There's uh, two, four, five lifeboats to be done. I think that's all. I don't know if there's more. might just check ahead in the instructions because it tends to go from one thing to another, like the turrets had done three different steps throughout the ship build, but anyway, but anyway, I'm going to call this a video, we'll end it here, um, I've got quite a bit done, um, the next video we'll go and do the lifeboats, um, we'll see how the paint, how I go, I might get this painted up as well, and, uh, and that will be all, uh, at least undercoated anyway and then the next day after it's dried properly I can put the base coat on that so yeah great if you've um, not already please subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you can get the notifications when they come of uh, my videos are uploaded uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video and um, I'll uh, yeah, I'll read all your comments if you put comment down below. If you've got any questions, suggestions, tips, um, share your own experiences, particularly with photo edge. And um, it's all good. I'll see you in the next upload. Thanks, guys. Bye now.